So here is question 11 from section C on the combined gas law. So it says fluorine exerts a pressure of 900 torr. When the pressure is changed to 1.5 atm, its volume is 250 milliliters. What was the original volume? So keep in mind we are for all of these working with the combined gas law. P2V2 over P2. So there's our combined gas law. Of a couple things to remember about this is that whenever you're plugging something in, so for instance P1 and P2, those units have to match. So if you plug in tor on one side, tor is coming out on the other side. You plug in liters for volume, liters coming out on the other side. So make sure those units always match from one side to the other. The other important thing is that we can make the assumption that if something is not mentioned, we can assume it's constant. So in here, the temperature is never mentioned, so we assume it's constant and we can go ahead and get rid of it. So that makes our problem easier right off the bat because we've gotten rid of a third of our variables. So now we just have P1, V1, P2, and V2. Again, laying out those variables will make it a lot easier. It says fluorine exerts that pressure of 900 torr. When the pressure is changed to 1.5 atm, so it's changed to that, its volume is 250 milliliters. What is the original volume? So a couple things that we should notice right here is that our pressures do not match. So one of these we have to change. I personally prefer ATM over anything else. So I'm going to convert my units of TOR to ATM. The other thing you need to notice is that your volume is given to you in milliliters, which means that your initial volume will come out in milliliters. So if your problem it asks you for your answer in liters, you'll have to make sure to convert that at the end. So to convert TOR, we have to know that conversion, that 1 atm is equal to 760 TOR. So this is one of the many conversions that's going to be given to you. So you always start with your given. So our given for this one is 900 TOR. Follow through just like any of our other dimensional analysis problems. So TOR up top means it's going to the bottom. We're trying to convert it to atm. And that conversion is that 1 atm is equal to 760 torr. So we plug it in, we say 900 times 1 divided by 760, and we get that 900 torr is equal to 1.18 atm. Rewrite it just so it's all nice and clear. So it's not really that much of a difference. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it into our problem. So P1, we're going to use that atm measurement. The volume is our unknown, so V1 is unknown. P2 is 1.5 atm, and V2 is 250 milliliters. For this one, we want to isolate V1, get it by itself, solve it for it. So we're going to divide by 1.18 atm. Make sure you do it to both sides, so we're going to do 1.18 atm to that other side. So it cancels. So we get V1, so we'll say 1.5 times 250, that's the top, divided by 1.18, the bottom. We get that the volume is 317.80 milliliters. So keep in mind, ATM cancels top to bottom. The only unit you're left with is milliliters. The other way you know that your answer is milliliters is because you plugged in milliliters, so you have to come out as milliliters.